everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot Mode. And today on Hot Mode, we are going to be looking at, dissecting, and reacting to Heart Evangelista's Closet Tour. Now, before we get any further into the video, though, if you guys are looking for a channel that talks about fashion in the most fun, sassy, bitchy, analytical way, this is it. You can go down below, hit the subscribe button, and turn on my post notifications. And if you want to see any more from me, you can follow me on any of my social medias linked down here. Enjoy. Now, yes, you're probably saying, Luke, who is Heart Evangelista? I have no idea who that is. And like, I was that person maybe a year ago where I had no idea who this woman was, but essentially through this Harper's Bazaar video, which was done in collaboration with Kevin Kwan, who is the author of the Crazy Rich Asian series of books, I discovered along with, you know, millions of other people that the Crazy Rich Asians do sort of exist. I mean, nobody's written like actual books about them, but they're real and very wealthy. And Heart Evangelista is one of them. Apparently she is the darling of the Philippines. She is a quite popular actress and also a pretty established artist. And she comes from the Ong Pao Ko family who has become very powerful in the restaurant industry. And essentially I had no idea about her, but like her family is like, big deal, like big deal in Asia, like super big deal in the Philippines, like card is like something else. And I don't really know anything about the whole aspect of Asia as a fashion consumer. And I think now in the days where I'm pretty positive the numbers are around 50% of all luxury goods are bought by Asian people. And specifically China is very much so in there. I think it's really interesting to see and look at like what people are buying, who are these clientele, who are these girls that are sitting front row at haute couture shows, you know, becoming friends with designers like John Batista Valli and getting custom wedding gowns. Like, I wanna know about that. And I feel like we don't really talk much about Asia on this channel in terms of their contributions to this industry. And I feel like I wanna start to learn a little bit more. Now, yes, this is a white gay who is literally dipping his toe into, you know, the upper crust and the upper echelon of Asian society. So like, if I say anything wrong, if I do anything that doesn't really make sense, I apologize. I am like very new to this whole thing. Literally, I was like reading about Heart Evangelista and I'm like, oh, this is like real deal. This is like the modern royalty. Cool. Like I, I don't know much, but I want to learn. And I feel like this is like a fun way for all of us to learn together. Cause I do think it's very interesting and important that we talk about these things, especially if we want to like be in the know about the current and modern fashion industry. So we're going to be reacting to Hart's closet tour, which from what I've read of the comments, I actually haven't watched the video. Somebody said, this is not a closet. This is a walk-in boutique. And I'm very excited. I kind of hope that it like surpasses Jeffree Star's closet by like a million percent. That's that's what I'm hoping for today. So let's just get into this reaction of this closet tour. I'm very excited. I'm ready. Let's do it. Ah, I'm so excited. It's gonna be fun. This isn't gonna be like mean and like nasty because like honestly I know that she does invest in some Birkins which are not my favorite but also like if you have a billion dollars, what else are you gonna spend that money on? You know what I mean? I mean like I have ideas of what you probably should spend it on but like I work in fashion, okay? I <laughs> We have different priorities, unfortunately. Yeah, honestly, like, I didn't know that Crazy Rich Asians was like a real, real thing. I thought like, oh yeah, there are some, but like, oh no, for real, for real. The girls are here, they're doing it. So let's just get into this. Okay, so this video has 5.8 million views. Like, that's a lot. That's, that's like a good, decent chunk of views, especially, yeah, okay. Let's just get into it. We are gonna watch the ads, but personally, I don't believe Heart Evangelista necessarily needs them. Hi guys. Okay, so she's getting right into it. I like that there's no intro situation. She's just going for it. I respect that. So this is what we're going to do right now. What is she doing? I did one before. Okay, so I feel like she just like actually pressed like a password into something. Now, I just want to say, if you have not watched that Jeffree Star vault tour, he's like, oh, we have a retina scan. And it's very believable that in fact, you do not have a retina scan. Heart Evangelista. She's like putting in digits. Before, Different level. It wasn't as detailed and as intense as now. Panda, and she's saying that she did one of these videos already, a closet tour, but this one is gonna be like much more in this detail, which we stand. And there are stairs, just an FYI. To make the carpet oh, I love that she like blur, blur stuff out. That's very so intense. It's just, 
much, much more safer if there's a carpet so you don't slide. Tactical. So as you can see, I had my scarves, my Hermes scarves framed. Okay, I didn't know people framed Hermes scarves. Brilliant idea. Most of them are actually gifts okay. from like my birthday or Christmas. Okay. And since I don't really I'm here them, for it. I decided to put them on my walls. Okay, this is like kind of different. Walls. I like that wallpaper. It's very hot. Oh, she just has dogs sitting in there. Okay. All right. So here we are once again. I like to keep all my blazers and the things that I wear for every day in this Okay. Part. I love I her little accent. It it's so cute. Because sometimes it gets confusing. My okay. favorite would be this top. I love Mark. Oh, Gardner. I don't know who that is. Good... Okay, so... I feel like she comes from a very like wealthy family, a family that is very often talked about in like the media because I read a whole article and I was like, what is happening? Her parents like had a whole press conference because they didn't like the man that she was dating. And I was like, this is different level shit. But I feel like a lot of her wardrobe is not going to be crazy over the top avant-garde kind of stuff, which I would love to expect because in the Harper's Bazaar radio, she wears like a lot of like runway Chanel or she wears like a runway Chanel look. So I'm wondering if that's going to be showing up in this closet or if this is more so like very conservative stuff because she comes from a family that is more so about not like showing and being over the top and like crazy ridiculous, but more so like, you know, very upper crust wealthy, which normally for a lot of people is much more laid back. You like don't really wear crazy things. You don't want to be noticed because, you know, look at the French Revolution when rich people get noticed. It's not really White great. Lace. I just okay, that makes so, sense. Like, neat looking and fresh, especially here in the Philippines. We have such a humid weather. It's nice to be, you know, looking fresh. One of my best friends is from Hong Kong, and I don't think I'm I'm from New York, which like gets pretty humid. But from what I understand, you know, that area of Asia is like different level hot, like warm, like crazy, crazy humid and like wet and sweaty. So. I respect that. I like it's a good editor. Stuff, but from time to time, I also like to freshen up and set things aside. Some I put in archives. And okay, so like, so I want to see the archive. Like, that's where I want to. I would love to go to Heart of Angelisa's archive. I also would like to be a beneficiary of things she gives away. Okay, so this is also another dress that I love. It's one I got from Sandro. Am I right? Oh. Yes, I got it from Sandro. It's a... Uh, French brand and I thought she was gonna be like you know this is like a low wave a runway piece blah 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 I guess not everything from every high fashion like luxury brand is something that you and you want to invest in it's not Zara it's higher than Zara but what I like about it is you know it's not very common but oh I don't mind doing Zara I love Zara okay I was not expecting her to say that she loves Zara Keep things as neat as possible and yeah, maybe I should have a sale one of these days. Okay, so over She sells her clothes? I am very interested in the life of Heart Evangelista. I love this dress from Carolina Herrera. Okay. I am making it a must to collect since She's wearing Carolina Herrera. What did I say about the conservative aspect? Like the most conservative brand to me is like Carolina Herrera. Like if you would like to look like an old woman, that's what you wear. There's nothing wrong with looking like an old woman. Because people are going to call me ageist. I'm just saying, if that's what you want to do, Carolina Herrera is very good at it. Mmm, multicolor. And I also have it in green. Wait, what happened to that jacket? There was a whole ass floral jacket I want to know about, and now I don't know. Colors. Heart, They're mostly you're some of like my nice Chanel jackets. I love Chanel. I love vintage. Yeah, Chanel. rip those so out. This is like a really nice trench. Ooh. It can also be like a dress. The reason why I like and love investing on some brands because, you know, it's she just like said some. That there. I, I like this heart of Angel piece. Something <laughs> that will last you forever. So you can wear it over and over. So I get a lot of questions and a lot Agree. of people ask me if I repeat my clothes. Of course I do. And that's why for me it's important to really buy quality clothes or I have learned something new about rich people every day. They also wear their clothes more than once. Mark Bumgarner dresses. Again, who's Mark Bumgarner? Oh, okay. And I don't know who Mark Bumgarner is, but I feel like now I should like start looking into these Asian brands I don't know anything about because I know that there are quite a few that I am very much so 
uh, ill-informed on, so I'd like to learn. But Del Pozo is an interesting one. So this island over here, where there's I a keep whole my ass accessories island. And my abubuts, and I also have this what did she say? Full of my other stuff. What word is that? Uh, I don't like to keep everything out because I don't like it cluttered. So I just put them oh, shit. in my drawers. So when we had this closet made, and she just and ripped that really open, didn't she? She didn't give sure a shit. A lot of space for all my little stuff. Okay, so here, this is actually where I put all my clothes, the ones that I haven't really used or the ones that I don't want to forget about. Sometimes you forget. So I oh. put everything here. So I have nice stuff that I ordered like last year. Panaman. I'll be honest, I do wish that I had a rack of clothes that I'm like, oh my God, Luke, you really should wear these. Don't forget about these ones. These ones, you know, you just don't wear them. You should totally get into it. Right event to wear it but it's my favorite. Oh, a little so problem. Like oh, it has a little cape. Let's get in there. Oh, all right, I'm about it. You know what's important? You have to have a dehumidifier here. That, like A is true. B, that's some like fashion museum shit, like making sure the clothes are all really dry because if moisture gets in the clothes, it will like ruin them over time. Like the clothing will rot. So, that's some real fashion archival shit there. I have my perfume. Someone once told me that, you know, in our country, it's humid, it's hot, so sometimes, you know, your perfume expires right away. So you need to put it inside mm. a ref. Oh my God, is that all her perfume? Oh my God, all of that perfume. Oh my God, that's insane. I would cry. And I have like a perfume that I use and if it broke, I would have a mental breakdown. So like, I can't imagine. Oh shit, these are all the shoes. That's a lot. 20 years of collecting. I've always collected shoes. Why? Because I'm 5'2". There's <laughs> nothing wrong with being 5'2". Let them know. But I'm just saying is, I love wearing high heels. I love nudes. Why do I love nudes? I also because love nudes. It gives the illusion that you look taller. Um, it matches everything. So I like to invest on nudes, like Louboutins. They're a little pricey, but I mean, you can wear it all the time. Um, more shoes, more shoes. Oh, this Chanel. outfit over here. Oh my I God, put that's that. So I usually hot. put my outfit. I plan them ahead of time. I know I like shit on Karl Lagerfeld and I shit on Virginie Vior now, who both are the designers for Chanel. But like, a Chanel tweed is a Chanel tweed. And, you know, they usually look pretty good. And I'll show you more of the shoes. Surprisingly, this is actually the best one to walk in. Oh, like Gucci hours. plaid. They have it in beige. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it in beige, but this is super comfy. Although it's chunky, so you have to really I be like careful the Gucci plaid. The kind of outfit that you wear it with so you don't look chunky or like it elongates you. So it's a mix of the length of your outfit or whatever. And oh. this one is for me, I think. Actually, I don't mind those that much. They're giving me very Raph Simmons Dior. It's actually when I attended Scaparelli fashion show and the couture gown that this girl, I told that story, I think a gazillion times, she was wearing, it got caught on <gasps> this and it ripped. The model was not happy about that, but oh I- Oh my God. Well, you know, it's a story. It's those a shoes ripped a couture piece. gown. Manolo's. I yes, live. Cassidy, love. I love the length. And yeah, the seems like a lot of Manolos. She's it's into super them. Super high with the platform, but it's very thin and very nice on the feet. That's nice. This. <laughs> where do yeah, I wear like it when I'm heels. wearing something that you can't see my shoes? So that is that. Okay, so over here. So this is like my little. Oh my god! Imagine having like a living room in your closet. I would die. And also, we haven't seen the bags yet. That's something I'm like very interested in is this room is actually gigantic when I think about it like it's a big L but also like we haven't even seen the bags I don't even know where those are where I have my OOTD oh shit she has a shots. bathroom okay, so this is the area where I do my OOTD shots in front of I'm sorry like don't mean to be vulgar but imagine you're like taking a shit and like you get a look at a Chanel sequin jacket because you own it and like that's what you get to look at like honestly forget TikTok YouTube don't know her like Instagram what I just want to look at his Chanel jacket while I go to the bathroom. Oh, she has a whole ass. It's like a whole ass bathroom. Oh, 
Interesting. I feel like this is what a lot of people want to like see and know about. Okay. I assume they're for the bags to like accessorize them. Cool. Overwhelmed na kung di ko na kaya. Oh yeah, and a little sneak peek. Oh. This is actually my painting. For yeah, she actually like is a painter that is like very well respected. So that's a big ass scarf though. I mean, she's an artist. She's a influencer. She's a actress. Like, you know, reality TV triple threat. You know what you're getting for Christmas. Okay, so I have my clutch bags here. Of course, I have my favorite Sequoia oh, bags. I also have. I love that bag. It's my beautiful. My classics. My Chanel bags. This was given to me by my mom a long, long time ago. Oh. And this one I love also. Okay, you always remember your first black quilted. This is also mm. love. This is also super. I also have like quirky bags from Kate 13 State. year old Heart of Angelisa. So those are so cool. Love that. And this is actually from Maison Love Marie. You could. Oh, does she have her own brand too? Maison Love Marie. And this is my design. Oh, shit. So this is my bag. And it has this really lovely velvet. I wonder if it's super expensive. Inside or expensive. Yeah, it was so hard to look for the chain, but anyway. This is still a prototype. Oh, yeah. Um, These are something I want to like know more so about. Cool. So essentially, she told this like very quick story during the Harper's Bazaar video, but essentially, she spilled like ketchup or mustard on one of her Birkin bags and then started to paint on the bag to like, you know, fix it, make it better, like not waste a Birkin. Cause I mean, like, I guess even uber rich people don't like to waste $30,000 bags. But I assume that she also now paints on other bags. I can even see like a Carolina Herrera bag that is painted beautifully. And like, it reminds me of that Prada collection that was all like the pop art faces, which like I think should be every Prada collection. But yeah, I think they're like beautiful from what I can see. I'm very interested. I don't know what Sequoia is. Why don't I know what that is? Interesting. Shit, there is more. Oh my God, this is gigantic. Oh shit, are we getting to the Birkins? Again, I will reiterate, I said this in like my Jeffree Star closet tour video. I personally don't think the Birkin or the majority of the Hermes handbags are anything like crazy, amazing, special. Mind you, I have not spent a copious amount of time with them, so I don't really know the practicality and all of the things, but I think in terms of like, from a design perspective, they're not like crazy amazing. But I also know that like, they are a status symbol. They do hold a lot of weight. They also cost a shit ton of money. And the fact that she can paint on them, which she does, is kind of, crazy so before i started to paint for other people i actually had to wait my... she paints for other people oh i thought it was just like her own is she getting paid to paint on other people's birkins because like that's a talent that's a real talent also though like i don't love that makeup on that girl in that that bag but okay we'll continue self because i needed to make sure that it was going to work so let me get my first bag. This is actually the lizard oh, wow. skin bag that I was talking about during the Harper's Bazaar shoot. The oil just landed wow. right here. It's actually beautiful. Right there. So hence the flower and the bird. But this is... It looks like it was meant to come like that, which I think is amazing. Also have this. This one I was just practicing on. I think I'm gonna oh, there's another one. Yep. I like the women and on them. They're if there's beautiful. any bag that Full I would save, there's a fire. Definitely my Himalayan. Huh. I do not know how. Mm, I don't love the Himalayan. I did like speak briefly on this during my Jeffree Star video. I understand that the Birkin bag is a status symbol. I get it. Like the Himalayan costs, I don't know what, $40,000, which is a lot of money. Uh, and, you know, she has multiple of these Birkins. So you can understand. I personally don't think they're crazy amazing. I, I would never really buy one for myself unless it was one that I think would I would buy to have for like an archival piece or something like that. But I would never buy and be like, oh my God, I have Maybird again. Like I understand why people buy them. They are a status symbol. They do represent a lot. But I also don't think that they're the end all be all. And I think if anybody has a Birkin and they're like, you're terrible, you're awful. I have a Birkin, you don't. Yeah, the Birkin doesn't really make you any much better than anybody else. That's my opinion on that.
I can buy this again, but it was a good investment. So eventually, if my daughter, they want to auction the bag when I'm 102 and I'm not here anymore, this is the Shit. bag. This is also very cute. This is from First Pop. It's a line that she made. I love it because it just looks like a little mosquito bag. bag. But it's just like a jacket, so you could just put it like that. Oh. So if it's raining or you... It reminds me of those Moschino bags that were the leather. Those were really cute. I love those bags. Still love those bags. Oil french fries thing to happen again. This is what I like to put instead of putting it um, inside a plastic bag. But you know what? I also read, if you guys do not know, that there are people that are so rich that when they carry their like Birkins, like these handbags, They'll put them in like plastic bags so they don't get like wet. I do actually believe that there's an industry that is starting to come around to shield these bags from being damaged. So like there's a bag industry for a bag industry, which like intense. Actually just bring like a really cute nylon bag. Um, See? That you could roll up, you buy in the groceries and I put it in my bags when I travel and I think- So her closet is also her office, interesting. So that is the end of this closet tour. So I obviously have opinions. You know me. When do I ever not have an opinion? So to wrap up this whole video, I do think that I was expecting maybe a little bit more. I think I was expecting like a Jeffree Star kind of situation where it was like very recognizable pieces, but I feel like maybe that's not how she spends her money. Obviously like that closet is worth a lot of money, like most definitely. I'd say that those Birkin bags rack up at least more than half a million dollars and that's just the bags. So there is, you know, a lot of money there. I just think it's very interesting because in the video that was Harper's Bazaar, I'm wondering if she actually like owns a lot of couture. I mean, she was wearing Chanel and she went to Schiaparelli. I'm also wondering like, is there an archive maybe that we're not seeing? I would like, actually love to see the archive. And I think I would like a little bit more about like the clothing, like, you know, it's a Chanel suit or whatever, but like, I want to see the clothes clothes. So, I mean, it's very interesting. I think I was expecting a bit more, but also, you know, this is the market. This is what people are buying. They're buying Hermes scarves. They're buying Hermes blankets. They're buying Birkins. They're buying Chanel bags, Chanel outfits. Like it's interesting to see. So yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is this what you were expecting from Heart Evangelista? Is this like what you think the crazy rich Asians actually buy, actually purchase? I think it's just a very interesting conversation as they are a very big part of the luxury and fashion marketplace. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video and TTYL.